this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2019 movie Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Since this movie is brand new and just came out tonight, and a lot of people I know haven't seen it yet and everything, I'm going to keep it completely spoiler free and everything. I don't want to run it for anybody, just like I wouldn't want anybody to have ruined it for me and everything. And this is a movie that the less you know about it going in, it's the better it's going to make it. Or at least to me, I, that's what I thought. Um, but this is a, a very, very good movie. I think it's easily the best out of the sequel trilogy, and it's in my top favorite movies of the franchise, which I'll talk about more when I do my franchise ranking, because I'm going to rank all nine of the original Star Wars movies, either later tonight or tomorrow. Um, but this movie uh, pretty much... Without going into too much details, it's the, the Resistance and the First Order having their big final battle and everything, the, the whole good versus evil story that you would expect from Star Wars. And without saying anything else about it, I'm not going to talk about things that happen. I might, I'll probably do a spoiler review where I talk more about stuff like that sometime, but I'm going to wait at least a couple of days to do the spoiler review and everything. I might go see it one more time before I do that because um, there, there are a lot of things I would love to talk about I just don't want to spoil this movie um, but the the cast in here is really really good especially Daisy Ridley I think this is easily her best performance as Rey and everything it really shows how far she's come as an actress since The Force Awakens which I thought she was pretty decent in The Force Awakens but her acting wasn't like extremely perfect and everything. I don't think that she was absolutely terrible or anything, don't get me wrong, but I, I think she was a lot better in this movie than she was uh, The Force Awakens. And she was still pretty good in The Last Jedi, too, and everything, but this movie, she was just absolutely perfect. I, I loved Poe and Finn. The, ri the, the writing of their characters and stuff was done really, really well in this movie. Um, There's new characters introduced in this movie, uh, and they're all the new characters are really good. It was great getting to see Lando Calrissian back again. Um, everything. He didn't play as big of a part in the movie as I thought he was going to, but he was still in it quite a bit, and it was awesome getting to see him again. Um, it was, and Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia. It was great seeing her again, and they did. I think they did a, a fabulous job on her uh, making. Uh, wrapping up Leia's story and everything and I think they did a really great job keeping it respectful and stuff so I thought that was great and um, of course as you know Luke Skywalker is back as a force ghost which that's not spoiling anything if you've seen the trailers you know that he's going to be back as a force ghost and the little bit he's in there is great too um, and there's a lot of other surprise appearances from characters from throughout the whole saga which I thought was great and everything um, so I, th I thought that was awesome and there's there's this new uh, robot character that I don't know what his name is he has like a cone uh, head and then a, a wheel it's attached to a wheel it's, but he's he's really a likable character I, I loved him I thought he was actually probably my favorite of the the new characters in the movie and everything. I, I don't know what it is. He just was... I really liked him. He was a really good little droid um, and everything. I, I don't really have a lot of negatives with this movie. Um, oh yeah, and uh, uh, the Emperor, of course, is back too, which that's also not a spoiler. If you've seen the trailers or the posters, it doesn't run anything. And I thought they did a really good job on how they brought him back and made it where it made sense and stuff without disrespecting the end of Return of the Jedi. I think they did a really great job with that as well um, and everything. So I, I thought that was really good too. And John Williams' score was great too. I, I actually think I liked his score for The Last Jedi a tiny bit more, but uh, I, I thought the score in here was great. The, there are a lot of really great callbacks to other movies in the score, which I loved about that, and uh, 
way this movie ends, that the, the last few minutes of this movie is just absolutely perfect. It, they, they ended this movie perfectly. It was a great way to end the Star Wars saga and everything. I think it was just absolutely amazing the way they did it and everything. There, there's a lot of things that are going to make a lot of people happy. I know there's some that are probably going to be mad and like the ones who are determined to hate Star Wars just because they, they're but her crybabies and stuff. I'm sure they're going to find stuff to fuss about too, but uh, I think this was a, a really, really good movie. I think most Star Wars fans are going to appreciate it though, and I, like I said, I think it was a very, very good fitting end to the whole Skywalker saga and everything. I, I hope they don't make a second sequel trilogy because this wrapped up everything perfectly. I don't see where they could go from here and everything, but there's a lot of questions that people are, have wanted answers to and stuff that are answered in this movie and it's it's going to satisfy a lot of people. It's going to make some people not happy as well, I'm sure, but I know most general Star Wars fans probably will at least enjoy it, the, the ones that actually really enjoy Star Wars and everything. I'm one of those fans that pretty much enjoys anything that they give me that's Star Wars related and everything. So. Uh, it really shouldn't be that big of a surprise on how much I like this movie. For people who've watched my other reviews and stuff, they they should know that I'm a huge fan of these films and everything. And I'm gonna give this Rise of Skywalker a 10 out of 10, just like I did the uh, the Last Jedi and the Force Awakens and most of the movies in the Star Wars franchise that at least get a nine or 10 out of me. And everything and this one is no exception it's just absolutely a perfect ending to one of the best movie series of all time if not the best movie series of all time like I said I I debate between that one and Harry Potter but if you want me to be honest I kind of like Star Wars more I mean of course we've had a lot more Star Wars stuff than Harry Potter too but um, anyway if you've seen the movie let me know in the comments what you think of it please don't post spoilers in the comments so um, please that way it doesn't run it for anybody else that like tries to comment or anything. I, I don't want to spoil this movie for anybody because it, this is a really, really good movie. And fans, uh, if fans don't want it to be spoiled, they shouldn't have to have it spoiled for them. So, uh, but uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and may the force be with you.